uh, the close uh, area, um, all dead. That then implied that whatever it was that was killing these animals was actually taken from the normal habitat, doing what they do to them, and then placing them all back on the ground in one lump. In other words, they were taking a cross-section of animals, doing these things to them, and then dumping them all in the same place. The very, I think the breakthrough from my point of view came um, not very long ago, certainly less than 12 months ago, when a, um, a chap was driving a vehicle over a, a very remote moor over near uh, Whitby. Uh, in the dead of night, he was on his way back home, he had um, one of these breakdown trucks, uh, no it wasn't, it was a, he had been delivering scrap metal and he was on his way back with his, his vehicle. And suddenly as he was driving across the moor top, he's confronted with these blinding lights coming towards him on the road. Um, he got so frightened because of this, he thought this vehicle was going to crash into him, he actually pulled off the side of the road to allow it to get past. Um, this thing shot past him. Uh, and then when it had gone past, of course, he pulls back onto the road and starts to drive. But he'd only gone 50 or 60 feet further down the road and he had to stop again because there were all the dead animals lying in the road. On this occasion, there was a dead donkey, there were dead deer, dead sheep, dead foxes, all lying in the middle of the road. And he couldn't get past. He actually had to tie an anchor, um, a rope from his vehicle onto uh, the donkey and, and some of the deer and tow them off to the side of the road to enable him to get past. Now, work it out for yourself. If um, something like that's happened, how has that vehicle come in the other way, passed along that road? And uh, I am totally convinced now that this thing wasn't on the road surface, probably just above the road surface after uh, initially dumping these things and then uh, shooting away. Following on from that, uh, some form of predator might be at work here and responsible for these horrendous mutilations. Uh, what are we to make of this? I honestly and truly believe, and I've gone into this animal mutilation in great